ready for intermission, folks. This is one of your favorite wrestlers, huh? Better than you. Super Electro, no love lost here between myself and Super Electro, that's for sure. And is this guy have entrance music or what? Not quite sure. Usually it's like little boats and stuff. He always messes up the sound table when he walks by. The amount of electrosicity or whatever that word is, just flowing freely from him. Yeah, somebody screwed up Electro's music. Great. Let's go to the ring and wrestle, buddy. We don't care. Maybe Electro should just work on time next time. Super Electro lives in a land without clocks. Look at him strutting around that ring, man. He looks like a freaking ballerina. He doesn't need music. He gets high off the fans' appreciation. Something along those lines. He's your head official, and he's out here to wrestle, ladies and gentlemen. CJ McManus versus Super Electro. CJ's got music. Yeah, he does. It's actually very, very good. You gotta have music if you're gonna be dancing like that, or you just look ridiculous. Even with the music, you have a ridiculous head. I'm sure that's no concern of his as he struts down to the ring with James Brown in tow. James Brown sporting an afro now. As he's getting down on the announce table. James Brown has always supported an afro. Well, yeah, he had that kind of comb over thing going for a while. It worked for him. Okay, we got some guy in some Power Rangers looking outfit here strutting around. We got CJ McMahon is dancing. What the hell is going on here? WrestleFest 4, baby. WrestleFest 4. We break it all out for the fans. Starting it off here, McMahon is with the headlock. Nice chain of reversals into a hammerlock. I think CJ's trying to get the mask off of electric power. Super Electro counters that drop toe hole, turns it into a schoolboy. But Super Electro goes for a second schoolboy. Manis is appealing to this crowd. Caught him by surprise completely. He's got to keep his head on the matches, man. It's one thing when you're refereeing, it's another thing when you're wrestling. Electro uh, kind of mistimed that one, to say the least. Which time? Pancake. All of the above. That was a flapjack, man. I like pancakes. I don't like flapjacks. Speak for yourself. I'm a fan of both, but it's only good enough for a two count Super Electro. There's the cattle prod. A nice spinning heel kick by Electro. He's not hooking a leg, he's not hooking an arm, he's not doing anything. He's just covering him, thinking that's going to be enough. A little bit arrogance of the superhero there. Arrogance, stupidity, whatever you want to call it. I don't know the man, but I want to call him stupid. I don't know him either, and I can tell you right now, he's stupid. He's not bright. And all he does is walk around strutting with Sammy Electro and all that crap. Hitting some electro chops in the corner there. Nice drop to hold. Drop to hold into a, I don't even know what the heck to call this. It's like a, a, a seated bow and arrow with a single arm hook. Into a pin by CJ McManus. But Electro's out of two. Just him by a mile with that clothesline. He's a little bit overzealous, man. <laughs> Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the bug zapper. He just crushed him with it, or zapped him with it, or whatever you want to call it. He drilled him. It's a peculiar looking submission hold here. I said, I'm like, 
Oh, oh, Tegan McManus let the folks at home know exactly how he feels about this move. Uh, the ref needs to see that CJ is tied up in the ropes along being tied up with Super Electro. Super Electro not really paying much attention to ring presence there. Well, the way he had the guy all wrapped up, it wasn't ring etiquette either. Well, you know, it's not really about etiquette there when you're fighting. It's about getting the victory. Looking good doing it. Electro crashes face first in the corners, but Madison failed out of the way. Pull the camera guy getting Electro whipped right in his corner. And Madison pulling the feet out. Breaks the face of the heel of his boot twice. This is where all professional wrestlers were told not to work in the corner with the camera. You missed all that great action. But if you really want to see this great action, ladies and gentlemen, you need to get out of your house, get off your couch, and go to a Gateway Championship Wrestling show when it comes to your town. Then you would have seen that face where it goes awesome, I assure you. But it's only good enough for a two count. Billy McNeil shilling for Gateway. I'm surprised you didn't say www.gatewaywrestling.com. You know, I would have if I would have thought of it. But... Oh! That was like a fantastic spear. He drilled him. He knocked his guts right into his drawers there or something. I don't know, but he killed him with that gore. You say gore, I say spear. Either way, he's back on the offensive here. He's kicking Double. Super Electro around. It's two snappers in a row here. And he calls that one the THC. Of course, the Tom Hanks Chariot. Yeah, like I said, man, the THC, the Tom Hanks Chariot. Or the Terrible Head Cold. I forget what he calls it exactly. I think you guys work out too much together. I don't know, man. He, what can I say? We, we, we share a similar vision of wrestling. Well, well, yeah, exactly. Nice standing figure four type variation here. Could this be enough for a submission victory over Electro? Electro poking the eyes there. Via the crowd. Nothing but groin on that one, Electro. If you take those high risk maneuvers and nobody's home, boy, it changes the whole outcome. Absolutely. See that man is right back to the offensive here. Chopping Super Electro. Circuit breaker, ladies and gentlemen. That's Super Electro. What a surprise the circuits, man. But they should have broke CJ. He's down for the counts at the hands of Super Electro. This match is over. Electro, your victor. CJ, your victor.